You put your left paw in, you put your left paw out, you put your left paw in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends, or is it, is it evening? Uh, I guess close enough, it's like after four. How you doing today? Uh, guys, no, no, stop. So, the dogs are flipping out. Well, these two mainly. No, you two leave each other alone. So... They have been in my room for the majority of the afternoon since I've been home. Because, okay, so I went to class. Class was good. I got home. I needed to mop the hallway, the stairs, the den, and the kitchen. From where little boy has peed just about everywhere. So all three dogs had to be put in my bedroom. Which they weren't too happy about, but, you know, they dealt. And then I came back upstairs while the floors were drying. We, like, hung out. Redler, do not flip out, please. <sighs> I think this is a time where, like, I don't know if it's anxiety-induced irritability or whatever, but I'm a little more irritable with the puppies. So, at one point... Caught up on some vlog, took a nap. It was great. The Dish Network guy came to put up a new satellite. And of course, I have to keep the dogs in my room while he's here because apparently he doesn't like dogs. And the dogs were flipping out when they heard a knock on the door. And then I had to leave them in here. And I heard them calling at the door. And my dad thought it wasn't going to be a big deal, so he was just going to leave me to it. Well, it got complicated, so my dad had to come home. Yay! Because I am not happy with dealing with strangers, especially over things I'm unfamiliar with. Like, I don't know what to do about TV satellites, and I don't know how my dad wants things. I don't know! <sighs> so, dad's home. And of course, the dogs flipped out more when dad came home. When they heard the knock on the door. And I don't know when I can release them. And of course, a little bit peed in my room, which I didn't get mad at him for because I knew he had just woke up from a nap and had to go outside, but I had to keep him in my room because of the Dish Network guy. So I was like, you know, what can I do? Um, and now they just heard my brother walk out of his room and they're like, ah! And now I'm just like extra irritable with them. I'm trying to keep them from fighting each other and I was trying to get them to settle down. Which, they were a second ago, and then went to fighting. But now, yay, Amarella's chewing on a rope. Sassy doesn't care, and Riddler is do acting nervous. He wants out. He wants to see my dad. He wants to know what's going on, because he is very FOMO. Which means fear of missing out. He does not like knowing that things are going on without him. And yet I once thought of him as a prospect for an anxiety service dog. He needs an anxiety service dog. Let's be honest. <sighs> so now I'm in my room. Trying to keep the dogs calm until I have permission to let them out of my room. And make sure not to kill them. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys. Dear to Emerell being cute. Dear the Riddler being not so cute. Especially when he's at the door. Which he's finally calming down. And there's Sassy. <coughs> Excuse you! I just said you were calm. You're a little butt face. Your face is a butt, or your butt's a face. Either way, you're a butt face. What are you doing? You goofball. So, guess who learned, sort of, to alert today? It was kind of unintentional. Um, I was getting really anxious and irritated with Riddler being all, holy crap, there's somebody here and I can't be let out of this room. 
So I started doing one of my anxiety ticks. I just started scratching at my bed. So spiders. Whoa! And all of a sudden, Emerald goes from the couch over to me and just hits my hand with his nose. So I was just like, yes, yes, that's good, yes. And I would scratch at different places so it'd sound different, switch hands, or even start doing my normal tick. And he, most of the time now, will just paw at my hand, which I'm good with that too. So I'm just like, yes, my dog is learning how to alert. Hooray. Let me see if he'll do it on camera. I kind of doubt he will. Emerald. Puppy. Puppy. <gasps> Is you sleepy? Is you sleepy? Yes. I has a paw. Emerald. Emerald, buddy. Hey. Hey. I got your paw. You put your left paw in, you put your left paw out, you put your left paw in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woo! So, no, I couldn't get him to alert on camera, but he can dance for you. Excuse you. Hello. You don't like it when I hokey pokey with you. You don't like your paws messed with. See? You put your left paw in, you put your left paw out, put your left paw in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. Ow! That's what it's all about. Yeah, he doesn't like the hokey pokey much. You're putting a shadow on my face, dude. I got your tongue. But yeah, now I'm doing better because he is somewhat calm. And I'm just like, please, Mr. Satellite Man, leave. And in the meantime, I am talking to Kaylee from Days at a Time on Instagram, which is so much fun. Because I sent her a picture of Little Bit and his alert attempt. And now she and I are just talking about service dogs and life. So it is very helpful, actually, to hear from her about training because I always feel like I'm the worst trainer in the entire world. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not like the ones on Instagram or YouTube that their dogs are perfect and do everything and, you know, train for like a billion hours a day or whatever. So, Kaylee, if you're seeing this, hi and thank you. You're awesome. And Morel thinks you are too. Right, bud? Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Bentley. My brother's going to eat me. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hi, Tizzy. Hi, Ouija. Eh, let me get my brother. Ah. So, hopefully, the man will be gone so I can set the dogs free. Emerald, hey. Hey. Alert. Yes, good boy. Alert. Yes, good boy. Such a good boy. One more. Alert. Yes, good boy! Hey guys, there's Sassy Girl. There's Emeril chewing on Big Brother's Chewy that I found in the couch. I lost my camera and I found it. Um, so my night has literally been watching YouTube videos. Yay! And playing around on Instagram. And working with Emeril on his alert, which is going very well. I'm actually very impressed. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was kind of interesting. So, I've mentioned this in the vlog several times, but usually when I go to take a shower, or if I'm in the bathroom for any reason, Little Bit likes to be in there with me. And if he's not in there with me for XYZ reasons, he's either downstairs with my parents, or he's waiting outside the bathroom door for me. So, my brother has a wonderful tendency to just leave these on the floor, and I don't know why just doesn't make sense and little bit was playing with one of these which of course I took it away from him because I don't want him chewing on them so then I got to wondering would he willingly give me this and turns out he did I asked him to bring it well I asked him get it and I asked him to drop it and he gave this to me 
Hold on one second. I have returned. I had to go take little boy outside. So, we're gonna see if he will retrieve this again, like he did before. And he also was able to retrieve an empty medication bottle. Let's see if he'll do it. You ready? Little boy. Hey, look. Get it? Bring it. No, Riddler, no. Quit ruining everything. Stop. Here, you want to sniff it? Not for you. Not for you. All right, Emerald. Get it. Drop it. Drop it. Yes, good boy. All right, let's try this one. Get it. Get it. Bring it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yes, good boy. So, of course, those are not perfect. And I won't need him to do any retrieval tasks at all. I think it'd be fun to teach him eventually. Excuse you. Hey, can I finish? Riddler, can I finish a thought without you barking? You're so rude. So now I've taken my sleep meds. So before those kick in, I'm going to try to get the vlog up and I'll check back in with you later. Morella's so cute with his paw over his nose. It's adorable. I just wanted to point that out and of course show how adorable all my dogs are. So I have just now finished uploading the vlog. Yay! And with a title like Kentucky Fried Jedi, why would you not click on it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The sleep meds are starting to kick in, so I'm acting a little bit weird. Um, but yeah. So I don't really have anything much else to say tonight, so I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is for you anxiety sufferers. Name one symptom that you hardly ever experienced near the beginning of your anxiety that you feel now. Like for me... I've not felt as irritable as I normally am. Like, in the beginning, I never felt this irritable. Now I'm just like, I get annoyed over everything. I'm like, why? This isn't even that important. And it just makes my anxiety go higher by being annoyed about everything. So, yeah, I know, complicated question, I'm sorry. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Amarillo. Good night, Tassie. Good night, Riddler. And good night, Raven. And good night to all of you.